Good morning. Let's see. Probably need to close my curtain for the light. We are going to spend quite a bit of time on the floor. We're going to work on neck and shoulder strength in this class today. So we will start laying on our backs. It's going to be a quick class. Okay. So go ahead and make your way onto your back and we'll center ourselves there on our backs. And just, just lay on your back with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Let your feet go wide, about as wide as your mat. Let your knees knock together. And just bring your hands to your low ribs. And that's right your diaphragm area. Let yourself breathe in and out of your nose. And feel the feedback of the floor underneath those low ribs and of your hands there. And see if you can just let that place expand. 360 degrees. Let yourself settle in for this day and think about what it is that you need to get from this class today. And from this time with yourself, maybe even see if you can whittle that down to one word. Maybe it's to feel centered. Or focused. or peace, or joy, or grateful. Just see if you can find one word, and for the next couple of breaths, just use that word as a mantra as you breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And then release your hands, walk your feet so they're at distance apart, your knees are straight up and reach your arms toward the ceiling. Interlace your fingers and then push into your feet, lift your hips, inhale and bring your hands towards your heart. As you exhale, drop your hips back to the floor, reach your knuckles up toward the ceiling. Inhale, hips left, hands to heart. Exhale, lower fingers to ceiling and really stretch those arms away from you as you reach up and then let your shoulder blades draw toward each other as you bring your hands to your heart and lift your hips. Last round here. Come up. And then lower your hips down, reach your knuckles up toward the ceiling and then bring one foot off the floor, other foot off the floor and reach your feet up toward the ceiling. Turn your palms inside up, out, and then reach your palms overhead. Find a soft bend in your elbows and your knees. And then as you inhale, just push the soles of your feet and your hands away from you. Inhale, soft bend in both your elbows and knees. And then exhale to straighten those limbs. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Release your hands. Bring your feet to the floor. And just let your arms come along your sides. Tuck your chin and lift your chin up toward 
your chest as close as it'll get. Just look between your thighs and then lower your head down. One more like that. Just lift your chin toward your chest and then lower it down. And these last two lifts with your chin will lift your chin and then rotate. Look to your right. Maybe even try to touch your chin to your shoulder and your right and then turn back to center and lower down. And lift your chin and then rotate look to your left and maybe even touch your chin to your shoulder. Look back to center and lower. Do that one more time on each side. Lift and rotate. Lift, rotate, back to center, down. Last time, other side. Lift, rotate, back to center, down. And then reach your arms overhead. And then just lift your feet up off the floor, knees to a 90 degree angle. Reach out through your arms and then lift your head and chest. Really push your lower back into the floor. Just engage through your core here. Maybe lengthen your legs a little further away from you. Maybe bring them straight at an angle or to hover. And then release everything down. Just keep arms overhead and bend one leg and just use that to roll yourself over onto your belly. And then bring your forehead to your floor, to the floor, or just to stacked hands, I guess would be better. Forehead to stacked hands. And again, find that diaphragmatic breath here. Feel your lowest ribs on the floor, and then think about breathing into the back of those lowest ribs and out to the sides. Relaxing your face, relaxing everything around your throat and your neck and your upper shoulders. And then release and reach your arms out long in front of you. If you have a block, you can grab a block or two. Um, that'll make this next movement a little more interesting. You know, reach your arms straight out in front of you and you can lift your face up off the floor, but just keep your gaze straight down. So your back of your neck is long and your crown, your head is just kind of in line with your spine. I've got my block by my right hand. I'm just gonna reach my arms straight in front of me and palms facing each other, thumbs face up. And then my block is just like a little obstacle for my arm to go up and over. So I'm gonna lift my right arm and go over my block and then lower it down. And then lift my right arm over my block back to where I started. i just do that four times. And I've got my block on a medium height. You can use an imaginary block, that's fine. And then we'll just switch sides. If you want more of a challenge, you can definitely go to the higher height. Head is just in line with your spine. Okay, and then you'll just reach that arm up, over and down. Just up, over and down. Up over and down, up, over and down. Just do one more there, up, over and down, and then come back, up, over and down. And you can just move your block out of the way. Rest your forehead for a bit and lift both of your legs. Just bend your right heel towards your bum, lengthen it out and bend your left heel towards your bum, lengthen it out. Really push your pubic bone into the floor and feel like you're lengthening through your lower back. And just go back and forth with these hamstring curls. 
One more time on each side. Push into your pubic bone. Heel toward bum. Another heel towards your bum. And release. Arms are straight out in front of you. Push down into that pubic bone. You'll lift your head and chest, lift both arms, and then swim your arms out to the side. You'll internally rotate those shoulders. Bend your elbows and bring the backs of your wrists to hover above your lower back. And then you can rest them. And then hover them again. Reach out to the side. Swim your arms forward. Bend both elbows and bring your hands toward your shoulder blades. Reach out. Swim around. Bend both elbows. Wrists hover ab above your lower back. And then you can rest. My head is just barely hovering above the floor. My chest is heavy. Hover those wrists, reach out forward, bend your elbows. Last time, reach out, swim around, push down into your pubic bone, lengthen through that lower back. Hover your arms lower. Last time, reach out forward, bend both elbows, reach forward and release. I'm going to roll over onto one side. We'll roll to your right side first. And do a little more neck. So I've just got my arms comfortably in front of me. If you need something to rest your head on, you could grab your block or a folded blanket. We'll have a little more range if you're on the floor. We're just going to lift left ear towards shoulder and then slowly lower down. Lift, and then slowly lower down. One last time, like that, and this time we'll rotate chin towards shoulder, come forward, and lower. Lift, chin towards shoulder, forward, and lower. And now you could rest your head on your arm if you want. We're just going to do our hip circles here. So bring that knee into your chest. Try to keep your pelvis level. So you externally rotate that hip and then internally rotate. Try to lift your heel up and then really send it back behind you. Um, lengthen through the front of this hip as much as you can. And then back forward. And then switch directions. Push it back. And then externally rotate that knee toward the ceiling, bring it in toward your armpit, and then back to your chest. Just one more time in each direction. And now we'll internally rotate, reach that hip back, and back to center. Back, knee toward the ceiling, up toward your side, knee toward center. And then let's just switch sides. So now we'll, I'll switch sides this way and then you can just roll over. Your knees are bent, shoulders are stacked. And then just lift right ear toward your shoulder and lower down. Go slow, right ear towards shoulder and lower. Right ear towards shoulder, and this time turn your chin toward your shoulder. Unwind and then lower. Ear towards shoulder, chin towards shoulder, and lower. Go ahead and make a pillow for your arm. Just hover that knee so it's hip height. Bring your knee in to your chest. And then knee toward the ceiling. Internally rotate that leg and send your heel behind you, really lengthening through the front of this hip and engaging through your glute. And then knee towards center and switch directions. Send your foot back. Rotate that knee toward the ceiling, in toward your armpit, in towards your chest. And Knee up, rotate back, back to start, last time there. And 
toward the ceiling, lean toward your chest, and roll back onto your belly. Find a sphinx pose with your forearms down. And just find a little bit of cat and cow movement, movement here. Tuck your chin, really round your upper spine, draw your sternum in, your breastbone in, and then really lift those lower ribs up from the floor. And then lower belly down, feel like you're dragging your elbows back and reach your heart forward, look up. Find your curl here. And then lengthen up. Last one. Really push down into your pubic bone. Let yourself feel like you've got some length in your lower back. Chin in. Push. And find that extension of your spine. And then find a neutral place. You can interlace your hands. We're going to move into a forearm plank here. So you can tuck your toes and then just lift your hips up off the floor and feel like you're sending your tailbone towards your heels. Just change my view here and just breathe there in your forearm plank. Bring your knees down. <laughs> Push yourself back into a child's pose. And you can kind of let your hips stay high if that feels best for you here. Then both elbows, bring your hands together in a prayer and just bring that, those prayer hands behind your head and really release and push down into your elbows. Enjoy one more breath there. And then release your arms, come up into a table and just turn your fingers so they face each other. Find a little rock from side to side here. And then we'll slide the right hand underneath that left arm. Bring your right shoulder side of your head to the floor. And then you can lengthen those left fingertips toward the top of your mat and then over to your right a little bit. Get a nice length through your side body and really feel like you're reaching that right arm away from you to get some space behind that right shoulder blade. And then place your hand in front of your face, just push yourself up. And then again, fingers face each other, just rock a little from side to side. And then slide your left hand underneath your right. Left shoulder to the floor. And then you can creep those right fingertips forward and over to the left a little bit. Then you can lean back, just find space between your shoulder blades. Have that right hand in front of your face. Use that arm strength to come back up. We're going to tuck our toes and take them about as wide as your mat. Walk your hands back and we'll just push ourselves into a squat and just explore it here. And so rock from side to side, kind of play with your feet on the floor. You can bring your knees out wider and then rotate them in. And then we'll find some stillness in our squat. If you need um, something to sit on, you can feel free to grab a block or some kind of support for you. And we'll bring our right arm inside of that right leg, maybe fingertips to the floor. And then just find a big twist to open your left arm out to the left. 
And take a big belly breath here. And then switch. Bring that left hand in front of that left knee and reach your right arm up. And twist here. Let's go each side one more time. You can be sitting on something or not, just right arm hit kind of in front of that right knee open. And then switch. Left arm put in front of the left knee. Open out. And hands to the floor. We're just going to come up into a standing forward fold. So push into those feet to lengthen your legs. And keep your knees bent as much as you need to to honor that lower back. And then inhale, just come to a flat back. And really feel like you're sending your inner thighs and your sitting bones back behind you as you lengthen out through the crown of your head. And then maybe fold a little more belly toward your thighs. And push into those heels. Look forward and inhale yourself all the way up to standing. Reach high here. Uh, exhale, hands to your heart. Reach your arms high. We'll find those kind of handcuff rotations again from standing. So you're gonna swing your arms out to the side and then internally rotate. And then come back behind you, bend your elbows and your hands will just hover above your lower back. And then you can let them rest there. And then press your hands away from your lower back. Reach out to the side, swing your arms up, and keep your lower ribs dropping down as you bend your elbows toward the top of your back. Just do that one more time. Reach up, out, internally rotate those shoulders, bend your elbows, hands hover, and then you can rest. And then hands hover, reach out, swim around, Arms high, bend your elbows, hands reach to that lower back. And then reach your arms high and find a forward fold. Bending your knees as much as you need to. Bring your hands to the floor. And then just one hand print at a time, we'll walk ourselves forward into a plank. And find your plank here. And see if you can imagine the back of your head the back of your heart and the back of your pelvis are all like we've got a board on your back. And they're all touching that board. And shorten the space between your top rim of your pelvis and your lowest ribs. And then lift your hips up and back. Find a downward facing dog. And pedal your feet out. And then see if you can find some stillness. Push the floor away and see if you can lift your shoulder blades up towards your ears. And then drop your shoulder blades away from your ears and find more space. Kind of feel like you're dragging your hands back towards your feet. And then push your hands away, lift your shoulder blades up towards your ears and then feel like you're dragging your hands back. Let's do two more of those. Just Finding some movement of your shoulder blades here in your downward facing dog. Push away and then depress those shoulder blades. Rock back into your plank. Then you can have your knees up or down. We're gonna come down onto our forearm. So we'll go right forearm first. Just bring your right forearm to the floor and then left forearm. And then we'll come back up. Right hand, left hand. Left forearm, right forearm. Left hand, 
right hand. One more time, right forearm, left forearm. And just pause here in your dolph in your forearm plank and we'll lift our hips into a dolphin. You can walk your toes in. Lengthen through your outer armpits. And then contain those low ribs in. One more round of breath. And then bring your knees to the floor. Rest in child's pose. Forehead to the floor. Expand your belly against your thighs. And then walk your hands back by your knees. And just plant your hands alongside your knees. Push into your shins, lift your hips and just rock onto the crown of your head, just really gently. And then hips to heels. Lift yourself up to a seated kneeling position and bring your hands behind you. Draw your shoulder blades together and then lift your hips. I like to feel my fingertips here. And then lower your hips and fold yourself back. And forehead to the floor, lift your hips here. Your head, you don't even have to have any weight on your head. Really feel like you've got all the weight on your shins and your hands, but really kind of round your spine. You can think of really tucking your chin, rounding that upper back, and then hips to heels, come back up. Hands behind you, draw those shoulder blades together. Lift your hips. And just go between those two movements with your breath a couple of times. If it feels like a good idea, you could interlace your hands behind you as you come up onto the crown of your head. Lift those hands up. Or you can keep your hands right by your knees. You listen to your neck, what feels good in your spine. Drop your hands and lift. Just go at your own pace one or two more times here. We'll meet in a kneeling position. Just drop your right hand to the floor and take your left arm up and over. Find a nice big side bend there. And then switch left hand down, right arm over. Back to center. And we'll just shift our hips to one side. Lengthen your right leg out to the right, your left heel toward your pubic bone. So it's kind of a Janu Shasana, but usually we have our legs straight in front of us. We're letting it open out to the side. Let yourself twist to the left. So right hand outside that left um, knee and then lengthen. Look over your left shoulder. And then look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. And then push down into those left fingertips behind you. And just find little nods of your chin here toward that right shoulder. And then release that left hand, lift it up alongside your ear and find a side bend here with your twist. See if you reach those left fingertips toward that right hand. Then you can release your right hand to the inside of that right leg. Find your side bend, twisting, Janusha Shasana. And then go ahead, come on up. 
And we'll just switch sides. So lengthen through that left leg, right heel towards your pubic bone. And find your twist, left hand outside that right knee, plant that right hand behind you. Look over your back shoulder and then turn to look over your front shoulder. Look over your back shoulder and look over your front shoulder. One more, look over your back shoulder. Look over your front shoulder. And then you can find little nods there of your chin. Keep rooting down through that right hand behind you. And then just lift up that right arm up and over your right ear. And you can release your left arm inside of that left leg. Try to root down through that right sitting bone as you lengthen through those right fingertips. And find space even in the left side of your rib cage. Go ahead and come up and find your comfortable seat. Let yourself get tall. Palms face up, feels more receptive. Palms face down is a little more grounding. Let's see if we can return to that word that we found at the very beginning of class. Your intention for this practice, maybe it was to feel centered or to feel focused grateful or peace or none of those things. Whatever it was, just connect that word as a mantra with your breath. And just feel the aliveness in your body. Divine light in me honors the divine light in you. Hope you go through your day with a strong neck and shoulders. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.